Welcome everyone to Old World Blues, an overhaul modification based on the Fallout universe for Hearts of Iron 4. All links you need are in my video description down below. To let you know how this series will go, I will talk a little about pertinent Fallout lore in the introduction and maybe in the future I'll provide a narrative story based recap of the previous episode in the following episode. That way if you missed any portions of a war or major events like that, you'll be caught up on them. I plan on really getting into the mood of playing the Seattle-based Brotherhood of Steel chapter. They were meant to be part of the cancelled Fallout Extreme game, and that is why the devs of this modification had to create their own lore for the Brotherhood of Steel based over in the Northwest. Expect the brothers, but with a lot more slavery, murder, and genocide involved. Before we jump into the lore too, don't forget to leave a like and comment right down below if you would like to support these videos and share them with your friends if you want to. On October 23rd of 2077, there was a thermonuclear exchange that would trigger the end of the modern world in just the span of two hours. That is called the Great War. That was the conclusion of a decade of conflict between the United States and China. Before the bombs fell, one Captain Roger Maxson was sent to oversee the Pan Immunity Virion Project, which would later be known as FEV, or the Forced Evolutionary Virus. On January 7th of 2077, they were moved to the newly built Mariposa military base to commence human testing. What wasn't known by the captain and his men is that they were using military prisoners as test subjects. They took over the base, the scientists were interrogated and killed. Then they declared their secession from the United States on October 20th of 2077. Three days later, the bombs fell. They would seal up the base and leave it behind, heading to the Lost Hills government bunker to the south of Mariposa with their families. It's at Lost Hills that they formed the Brotherhood of Steel, becoming a bastion of technology in a more primitive era. They were dedicated to the preservation of technology and human knowledge. Now, I had a poll going on, and it was really between the Washington Brotherhood and also the Western Brotherhood down over here in California. The Washington Brotherhood was meant to be part of a cancelled Fallout game called Fallout Extreme. And we do begin at war with two factions, the Yakama Nation over to the east, and over here to the west we've got the Olympus Tribe. We've got to beat them quickly if we want to survive. Beyond that, I'll eventually have to contend with the Troll Warrens down here. I don't know how well they'll play or how well they'll do, but we'll find out. And there's a lot that I don't know yet of what could happen. Let's go find out though, and you can see there's a variety of factions if you're new to OWB, like New Vegas over here, The Great Cons, Hopeville, Ashton, we've got The Fiends too, and a few other factions like the Mojave Raiders. Yeah, they would be cool to check out, but anyway, let's pop right into it. We do have over here Bunker Blues, which provides a series of benefits, but what I like a lot is that Special Forces minimum capacity up by 50, heck yeah. Give me that power armor and I'll conquer a nation. There's our handy dandy pit boy. Well, we don't need that right now. What I do need to do is to get ready to fight a war on two fronts right away. Now, I've got one division over here, but they'll be guarding that straight. Rodriguez's sons. Yeah, you'll be joining him later. We do have very high organization. Our very first army should have, let's see, 11 divisions total. They're going to be led by the Immortal. He's got a skill of five, and I do not have command power to give him a new trait yet. He's got strong, enduring, and intelligent, in addition to nerd rage. Not bad. Yeah, so those are a lot of benefits that can help me out with my attacking, defending, my organization, and so much more. Let's put a plan right over here to take Yakima. We need Yakima. Now, I won't be able to hold up every bit of my line, but that's okay. We just need to hold out for a little bit of time. My other army is going to be led by our buddy, Star Paladin Rodriguez. He's got Lucky for more attack, planning speed, and max planning. Intelligent, planning speed, and max planning again, not bad. And Charismatic, reducing supply and consumption is quite important. He's got one attack skill of three, so we'll bring him in. Sure, make your plans. But over here is where I'm going to have my power armor push right in, right away. Way. I mean, if I don't do that, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. Now, for research, we've got many options. I'm going to pick up militia training to reduce my division training time for one. I'm not going to train yet, but I will later. Then for engineering, I'll pick up Alms Law, which will give me a research speed of plus 2%. Then for industry, I want tool procurement. 
that will increase my production efficiency cap and it has a couple of other benefits too. And down here, I'll get construction basics, 69 days, and I'll be able to build a little bit faster. And that is quite important to me. Then finally, we'll get organized agriculture, more of a monthly population up by 1.5%. When it comes to all of my factories, well, I want you to make some common energy weaponry. Then later, we'll work on scavenged power armor because we'll need that too. I don't have a lot of supplies right now. Oh, right, dockyards. Okay, we'll build some convoys. I probably need to build a little fleet later and I'll have to learn how to really utilize all of that at a later point. And I don't have anything to really enable right now. I'll have to look at these in more detail. I know what a lot of them do. I can rebuild a few sites too whenever I conquer unique locations. Like over here is Naval Station Everett. Over here, we have a Naval Air Station Whidbey Island. And it gives me a bunch of buildings and a whole bunch of other stuff like that. So we do have options, but I'm saving up my money currently. We do have one unassigned division. That is okay. And for my national focus, well, to let you know, if you don't know, Old World Blues is a very story driven game. It's really cool. So we're going to be following our little storyline, our founding. While High Elder Maxim was the founder of the Brotherhood as a whole, each chapter has had its own founders, those that spread the word of the dangers of technology farther into the wasteland. Who were our founders? And we're going to find out and it will change up what we're able to do. So now what we can do, we can move at a singular speed as I need everyone to move in. Well, before we even do that, we could also go after a few enemies who are moving around. I've got some power armor up north. I do want them to check things out right by the Seattle outskirts. So tired. Yeah, you go, the Patriots. I need your patriotism right now. Hey. When it comes after that, we can use a bit more firepower. We need patriotism and firepower. Okay, so attack. Attack or tactic damage up by 5%. They have no commander. That should help me out a lot. Oh, what I can also do, I can hold down what shift do and get you? all of you to help me attack. Just do that real quick. Do your thing. I've got you now. And we can just go after all of them. We can try to destroy them where we're able to. Engaging. Then we can push right on up to go right to their capital. Then they should capitulate. That's my big hope anyway. Oh, look at that. They are moving around. Let's come over here. Right away. Yeah, I need all of you to move in. Here comes another group. I don't like that. What about down here? Oh, they're moving down here too. Yeah, I want you to come on and help out. We'll have two divisions tackle that one division. My power armor will come up north too to go handle whatever else they have. And while that is going on, we're at 79 already. 31 soft attack. Okay, they're at only four. Ouch. They have a heart attack of 1.5 and a defense of only 36.4. We are overwhelming them. We should win very soon. It shouldn't take too long at all. And again, they're going to be able to take some territory, but I'm okay with that. We're going to take care of it. All right, soft attack of 78.3, hard attack of 69.6, .6, not bad at all. A defense of 210, holy crap. Yeah, not bad. Have we lost anyone yet? No one yet. We're not really fighting too many battles, only two currently. As long as we're out. After this, okay, hold on, hold on. I need you to come on down. Come help out real quick. Or just wait here and do your what thing. Do for you? Yeah, there we go. All right, we'll move up in speed just a little bit because we're watching a few locations. I've got to zoom in and just pause constantly because I need to micromanage over here. Or again, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Not everyone is moving. They are moving down south. Good job. That's what you should be doing. Up north, we're still attacking. Over here, we're at currently 80, 81. It's only going up. Oh, you're now led by unit leader Hermes. He's a mountaineer, so he's pretty good over in the mountains. But currently, his beaver guard, well, they're losing. We're busting that beaver up. Ooh, here's another battle where they have true hunters trying to hold out. But look at that, attacking from multiple directions. We're getting a lot of benefits for that. Oof, I don't want to lose any battles, so we'll have to leave it alone. I don't want to leave it alone, but I've got to for now. We're also losing another battle down south, but maybe we can go take care of that. Normally, I wouldn't be so micro intensive. I've been told that I don't have to be, but for what's going on here, I do. <laughs> we can't hold on to a huge front line like the one that we have. I don't know who they have up north, but I know they do have someone. We could either choose our founders were scribes or over here, our founders were paladins. War support or stability. War support shouldn't be too difficult, nor should stability. But we do have organized slavery currently as a law. 
and also Raider Conscripts too. So I'm going to take our Founders for Scribes up by 5%. That could help me negate a few of my problems. Okay, let's go pick up our Interim. Each chapter of the Brotherhood has its own priorities. Some focus on collecting the powerful weapons of the old world, while some prioritize the industrial machinery and tools. What did we focus on? Oh, I think all of you know. I know I know. All right, everyone, get a move on. It's about time to attack where you can. I was going to have you advance, but actually, go where you want to for now. I shouldn't try to push in. They could easily encircle me, and that would be a huge issue. Well, I know you're losing right now, but that will change in time. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of it together. Yeah, I just want all of you to help out right over here. I only want you to maintain my line. But we're about to win. Check that out. Our stats are much, much higher. Good job, Star Paladin Rodriguez. That is why I wanted you to command our army over here. I'm very proud of you. Good job. Okay, while that is going on, let's maintain a good watch on what's happening down over here. Yeah, look, there's one division moving up north. They'll be there in three days. Okay, understood. And we're currently protecting the Seattle outskirts. I have a pretty good understanding of what's happening right now. How many have been killed? I've lost none. I have 20 factories and they've lost only five right now. That could change at any moment. What about our battle way down south? Back to winning, good. As we well should be, they have no commander. 95, we're about to win over here. Goodbye Hermes and your beaver squad. They can't do it. They don't have the brass for it, buddy. Okay, I want all of you to move up. Go take that capital right away. Beat them right now. If you do so, I can move all of you to the east and we can finally end this damn war. Okay, we've gained another focus. I can choose, again, industrial machinery, which will give me building slots. I mean, these two will together, but it's a difference between civilian workshops or arms workshops. Well, I want an arms workshop because I need more weapons. I need a lot more weapons if I want to win. Next, we'll gain our future as a new national focus. We have learned Plenty in the years that are now behind us, we must now use that experience and make preparations for the many years that are in front of us. I do like that as a line. Okay, I do not want you to attack anymore. Just wait where you're at currently. Again, we are winning one battle. Down here, we're winning another battle. How many have died? Only one on my end. 28 on their ends. 75. We're nearly there. Come on. Eat them right now. I'll check on my forces in just a minute. It's very much needed, trust me. Oh, it's ticking upwards. I mean, look at that. They don't really have a lot going on. We did beat them. Now the war is over and we can finally get over to the east. That's when I can strike back if I want to. Oh, here is a song from the front. Now I could gain political power or base war support. I'm going to pick up base war support. Heck yeah. Up by 5%. We countered that issue just a little bit. All right, so they're moving. I've got my power armor up north. Oh yeah, they're moving all right. Do not like I that. I wonder, can I, can I encounter them? I would love to be able to strike them just a little bit, right? Just to kind of move over here and to keep them away. Okay, that battle is nearly over. The other battle is not over. Come on, I want all of you to move over here. Yeah, we are keeping them stationary. Their other division is not coming in to help. And it's over. Oh, thank you for your sophisticated weaponry. Wow, a tire iron. I never thought about that. Okay, I'll take every state, all four. I'll be able to core them later. And done. That battle, that war is over, so I need all of you to come over here. All of you. Oh, we're missing one. There we go. Then they can all move over here to help me out. After that, we can get ready. We'll get our planning bonus and finally attack. That's all I want is to go after all of them. Okay, we've completed another focus again. Let's come over here. Our future. Now, I could get my factory output to go up if I produce more myself, or I can gather more, which would give me resource gain efficiency up by 10%. No, I want to produce more. Take that. Then I'll pick up. I can't get within the blizzard yet. 60 days, two months, but I would be able to core the lands I've either conquered or I'm about to conquer. Okay. 
then I'll take our might because that will give me a nice research bonus when it comes to my land doctrine, which I've not yet worked on. The Brotherhood of Steel is feared and respected throughout the wasteland for our military might. In terms of combat effectiveness, we are high above the dregs the wasteland has to offer. One man in power armor is worth 10 unarmed soldiers, if not more. Studying previous engagements will help us improve our future combat doctrine. Yeah, we'll take that right away. And everyone finally gets to move to the east where we can push away a few enemies if we want to. Well, come on down. I'm just here to win a few fights, if at all possible. Hold on, what are you doing? Can I help you? You just got here, buddy. Don't do that. <laughs> all right. Get down. I wanted you to move away, but if you're doing that, so be it. But it does look like you're winning. Never mind. It's all good. All right. I want more to come over here to help me counter some more of my enemies, like that one division who's about to try to cut me off. Very rude, by the way. Don't do that. Okay, we're going to hit you from two sides. Here comes some more power armor. Oh, good luck, buddy. Let's come over here. Let's push back that other division. I should probably try to encircle all of them, but we're having to reorganize just a little bit. I mean, have a look over here at what I have. Organization has got to go up if we want to be able to do well, so we'll wait a bit. 71, 47. All right, I've lost how many? Only two. They're at 40 dead. I've killed 40 of their people. Okay. Come over here and help out. If you want to help out, try it out. Yeah, you two can work together. Hold on, we have one division that's currently moving towards us. I don't like that. Never mind. Wow. It isn't going well. I mean, that should change in a moment. I think after that, I'll let everyone hold up the lines and we can just kind of hold here. Yeah. Just keep on moving, all of you. But that battle is nearly over. Okay. I don't have a lot of political power. I don't want them to push me away. That would be awful. Is there a plan ready? Nope. We're still not in position yet. I know it's a rather risky plan, but I know that we can do it. We've got a lot of divisions up north. We're pushing a few down south. I'm going to bring it over here now, and I could use a new icon. What icon do I want? Army 1. Let's keep it rather simple. That way I know what's what. I'm going to give you a red color. Enjoy, kids. All right, time to zoom in again. They're attacking me in a few locations. Oh, good luck, guys. <laughs> not going to go well here. We'll push up the line just a little bit. We could have all of you push over here. Actually, I like that idea. What can I do for you? You know what? I think I want a lot of you to move over here. Come on now. There we go. Power armor. If you want to push up too. Let's try that out. I want you to move in. Go help them attack. Ooh, that's one nasty battle. Okay, they're not moving anymore. But after that, I probably just need to wait a little bit. Let them push if they want to. Kill what I want to. That way we can use our plan. Because right now we're still moving into position. I'll put it up to max speed. I've completed one bit of technology. Very good. I'm going to go pick up industry planning. Oh, yeah. There we go. Factory output up by 5% again. And you know I need that because I don't have a lot of things being made currently. I need power armor and I'm not getting that. I am not getting that right now. All right. We're going to... Just let it all flow by. I'll check on what I have later. The Desert Rangers are now fighting the Jackals. Ooh. We've completed a lot of technology, so what should I pick up now? If I come on down here, I think, again, working on my population is a good idea. We'll get seed selection. There we go. Recruitable population factor up by 1%. That's one. We have two more slots available. Here's woodworking for a higher construction speed and factory repair speed. And one more to go as I continue to work on my industry. We have technology, so let's go pick up improvised tools. Not as good in the short term, but in the long term, it's much, much better. Okay. All of you, just move on. We're okay. How's it going? No, we're still waiting on our plan to activate. It's taken quite some time, but look at what we've taken over already. That's a decent amount of stuff. Okay, if you want to come help out two divisions of power armor already destroying them we've gained our might cool next we'll take what Ooh, hello steel legions yeah i'll take that standing side by side our men form a wall of unbreakable strength the brotherhood is like one long chain spread out across the continent with many many links throughout its length no part of the brotherhood is weak every man and woman is trained to a level of proficiency other groups can only dream of so we'll gain what Plus 5% to our division attack and defense too. 
60 days, but man, that's going to really help out my combat capabilities. And I like that a lot. All right, so we could probably beat you, then move up even more. Let's do that real quick. I'm going to have you move up. If you guys want to help out, then do that for me. All right, 16 divisions total. I haven't really waited on any of my divisions just yet. Still waiting on that plan to activate. Ah, oh, it feels good. It feels good to win some stuff today. Is there anything I can get right now? Extend military research. That's pretty interesting. Okay. Stability would go down by 0.50. I hate that way too much. No way, man. No, there's ways for me to do a lot. Oh, check out all the new buildings that we can pick up. Building slots over there, arms workshop, air base as well. That's really good. But I've got to wait. All right. We're now finally good to go. Our plan is ready. Let's activate it. And we'll let everyone begin to move in. We're here to take Yakima. I could probably just encircle what I want with my power armor, but there's a lot of attrition to be had. So we've lost only 37. They're at over 200 dead. They're not doing that well. They're not feeling great today. All right, so while we're doing all of that, let's come over here. We're currently repairing what we can. I'm gonna go take my arms workshop and we'll put it, oh, I've got plenty over there. Never mind. nice work. Industry planning, done. Okay, I need more technology. Let's take, hold on, which one goes further out? Okay, STC or over here, replicators. Recruitable population factor for the one up north. Ooh, interesting. Work is needed. Over here would be work assignments. I like the idea of being efficient. We would be efficient. All right, so we'll take that. Production efficiency cap up by 3% and a lot more output. A lot more output. I need that output. Now I can modify my government. Here we go. Experienced soldier losses over here is a, let's see, division recovery rate of 5%. Division speed, recon, decryption. I mean, that's a lot of really good stuff. I think I might wait on that real quick. What about over here? Research speed up by 3%. Consumer good factories down by 5%. That's actually really good. Jaquita, I'm not too worried about you. I think I will take for now. Yeah, you. Master Inquisitor Torland. Come join me, friend. All right. Our plan is about to commence. We are having some issues up north, evidently. Not a huge fan. All right, looks like it's gonna be okay. Maybe I shouldn't watch it so carefully. I want to, but maybe I should leave it alone. Hello, sir. All right, so what are we looking at right now? Not in position, we were, we were. All right, so here's what I'll do. I'm gonna help out. I feel like helping out. Take this. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna interfere. I was going to, but then I saw that these two were gonna move on their own, so I don't wanna push in too much. I do want you guys to move in. Okay, cool. Three of you are operating in that one location. You'll move up as well. Up north is where things are a little bit tricky because of the terrain. We'll zoom in just close enough to watch the battles unfold. It's a nasty one for sure. The Troll Warren is now fighting the Carcass Walkers. Ooh. And we are indeed pushing in. We are breaking them. We're at 37 dead. I have now 25 factories. They're at 231 dead themselves. Come on, guys. Why are you pushing down here? You don't need to be. I'm going to ignore it for now. It should be okay. All right, we've got militia training. I'm going to go pick up now. Oh, no, that's way too far ahead of what I have currently, so we'll leave it alone. We'll pick up support equipment because we could probably use that for later. Or another option, actually, now that I think about it, is to go over here to land doctrine. Automated warfare. Okay, here we go. We've already gotten refined warfare. We begin with that. We'll take up concentration of force. Recovery rate up by 0.10. Organization up by plus 5. Our population to recruit from goes down a little bit. I don't like that, but we'll see what that will do for me. Most of my units are winning, though, outright. So here's what we'll do. I think I'm going to pause my plan for now. Okay. I want all of you to just stop attacking because I just want to send maybe two divisions over here to go take their capital. Yep. Stop that plan. Hold on. I didn't mean to not stop it. Now we've got it together. Okay, so we can hold on without really losing too much more life. We're at nearly 100 dead. We've killed over 500, which is a lot, sure. But I'm here to get Yakima. I want Yakima right now. I've got three divisions pushing right for it. We've completed another national focus. Okay, good. Now, we could wait a minute. They might capitulate. Then I could get within the blizzard. 
Again, I want that because I want to core what they have. So let's wait just a brief minute as we conquer their capital, Yakima. Five victory points. Win it, she, huh? Is that what you want to do? Is that where you think you can win? What can I do Kids? for you? All right, I could have all of you move up here. Just do that real quick as we hold on. They're not breaking just yet. I have cut them in half. I mean, they are completely cut in half. I've got eight divisions down here. I've got how many up north? Eight. So they are fully divided eight for eight. We're going to be able to hold on. We're about to get Winichi now. Pick up Winichi. Don't let them have it. I know they're moving towards me. Let them try to cut us off. We'll take care of them. Ooh, ooh hold on, hold on. That's actually not great. Come over here and help out, buddy. Yeah, engage them. And I've conquered another capital. They've got another one down south. That's really interesting. So here's what I can do. Power armor. I'd rather you just wait here for a minute. Let's slow down our gameplay speed. Man, I want that right away, but what about a factory? Pick up what you can down here because I need power armor. I need a lot of it. I'm sure that we do. Again, we've killed over 500 and they're nearly all gone. Hold on. I want that power armor to come over here to Vantage Bridge. We'll take another location from them. Wow. Okay, so I've got two plans to make. Over here, we'll have one offensive line. Okay. Then we'll have another one up north as well to go take Badal. Badal is only one location. Hey there. Let's go take that. They're nearly ready to break. I suppose I could wait on coring them. I don't want to waste any days. So we'll come over here now. 500 more manpower. Wastelanders are a dime a dozen with little special or unique about them. Often short-sighted, brutish, and too simple to understand the danger of technology, we often avoid them like the plague. Still, sometimes new blood is required. At times like these, we hunt the population for worthy candidates, often accepting proven and friendly wastelanders into our ranks. Oh, it will get darker in time. All right, we're at two speed right now. After this, I have some weapons to repair. I've got... You know what? I would love for you to come on down there if you can. You can Greetings, do that for me. Just come on down. Let's go take their other capital, Kennewick. This, I have some weapons we do that. Maybe that will end them. No idea if it will. Okay. I'd love to come over here, actually. Come over here. Let's go take Badal. Hey there. Well, I don't want all of you to move up. That would be a bad idea. What's going but on? My power armor could move out and take I Badal. I think they don't really need help. I don't believe they do. After this, I have some oh yeah, we're about to take over Kennewick if we can. What do you need? I've got my power armor on the way. I've lost not too many. Cool. Oh, it feels good. Okay, up to three speed again. I'm at 52 political power. I'm changing as much as I can. Just give me a moment and I'll have it. They'll have another capital after I conquer what they have here. We're at 72%. They control 41% of their victory points right now. Hello, sir. You know what? Come help out. No, no, no. Come help out over here. We've got it under control. Hold on. They're coming back to Winichi. Our armor moved back. I know they're probably going to be able to take it now. They're moving away. That's pretty funny. Plenty of divisions up there fighting. Ooh, what's actually good to know, too, Let's I could pick up my this. traits right away. I don't know of all the best ones. Oh, here we go. Commanding officer. Ooh, max planning. Planning speed up by 10%. We can do a lot, actually, if we wanted to. But before that, I want a unit leader trade for him. All right, I'll make him a field marshal one day, probably. Strong back. We've got pain train. Power armor attack up by 5%. Speed up by 5%. Oh, these are all incredible. Division attrition down. Survivalist. Now, that I want. Because we're going to be fighting in the cold, and I don't want to lose a lot. So, I am going to take that. Survivalist. We are enduring. That's what we are. And then afterwards, what else do I want? Find the power. We've got Heavyweight, Light Touch, Cunning Leader, Melee Hacker, Junk Rounds for more defense, Tough Leader as well. Ooh, plus 10% to our Blasted. Wow, that is a lot. Okay. These are all incredibly good. All right. Rooted for you. Entrenchment speed up by 15%. I'm going to take Pain Train. Only because I want to make sure that he's pretty good at commanding all of that good stuff, you know. All right, let's take Kennewick right away. I want that location to be under my command. Come on, hurry up. We got it. Hey. Let's go after Umatilla Bridge. Yeah, do that for me. Come over here. We don't need two divisions. I want you to go there, then come on down to Cable Bridge. And we're still fighting for Badal currently. What can I do for you? Come over here and take over that location for me. 
I know we're fighting in quite a few areas currently, but it looks like we're doing well. I'm sure I'm making a few strategic blunders, but so far it's working out. Yeah, maybe we only need to conquer like one or two more, then we'll be able to finally get out of here. Come over here, come over here to their sanctuary. It's one more location to conquer. Adal, I want to get rid of you. I've lost no more just yet. Cool. Yeah, thanks to conquering what we did, we're doing fine. Okay, seed selection. That is now completed. What else can I pick up? Plant cultivation. That's a little bit ahead of what I could do right now. Okay, here we go. Resource gain efficiency up by 3%. Energy cell gain per energy up by 5%. So we'll take that. I'm working on my industry a lot because I feel like I probably should. I think like that might be a good idea, you know? Might be a pretty decent idea. Oh, come on. Let's go after Badal. I want Badal out of here. If I can help it anyway. There we go. Okay, I've gained two common energy weapons, 1,000 energy cells, and a lot of basic melee weapons as well. It is finally time for me to take every state they have. Done. We are now done doing that. We've taken eight states total. Check that out. We are so darn strong now. Now, is everyone... No, you're not all ranked three. Holy crap. Now, that's a huge issue. I didn't have time to train all of you. Exiles, we've gone over here to more. Yeah, come over here, and I want all of you to train. Do that. We can use shift, click, and now they'll all train. I wonder if you can do that in the same army or if you need to still divide them up. I actually have no idea. I'll have to find out later, but for now, that'll work out. All of you, come over here if you want. I'll probably want to build some defenses. Ooh, the Mara Drinkers are now fighting the Carcass Walkers. Oh, they're done for. The Troll Warren has conquered them. All right. Next, if I get Port Maul. Oh, yeah. I could really do that. I could turn you into a Puppet. I wonder if I have a focus for that. That would be great to know. I've got time, though. Yeah, there's a lot that I can do. A scavenging program. We can wait for that. I'm not going to pick it up just yet. I could buy some... Basic weapons, sure. There's a lot that I can do with all of that. I've got only 69 political power. Everyone is getting into position. We've got people training over here. A lot of conscripts. Let's have a look over here at my companies. Okay. PA company. They have reduced the grid. Ooh, Desert Rangers beat the Jackals. Not a shocker there. So we are 15 wide. I believe that's all that we can have for this group. I don't think we can have more, can we? question no we can have more okay I suppose we can't just max it out that would put me at 20 width total yeah they just took out a few of the slots over here that's 10 experience I could use that right now but I don't really have the equipment for it so it doesn't really matter here's my conscript brigade okay we'll need some suppression for them later on oh yeah look at that support they're continuing to change up how things look and I love it that's so cool actually that's really cool. All right. So let's just let everyone move around. I haven't really recruited anyone new yet. We have a Raider Warband too, at only 10 width. Okay, what if I take more infantry? How will that go for me? Let's find out. I can't really add much more. I will put up to 14. We'll try to add more to get more experience. I know, I know. People are very unhappy. I totally get that. Things are not great. We only have conscript brigades total. And I'm having to deal with a lot of unhappy people. I mean, that is a lot of resistance. And I just do not have the equipment nor the manpower to handle it. But if we're careful enough, we should be fine. The marrow drinkers are now fighting the troll warren. Good. We want that. We want them to potentially be weighed down. Let's have a look at the world real quick, though. Ooh, there's some warring happening over here. The legion is already just pushing hardcore. Have they just like conquered everything or do they begin right there? I suppose they do. But the scorpions are close by too, so they're about to border the NCR. I hope the NCR does well. Oh, here's Umbra. Hello. Mari Hassan. Interesting. All right, so there's a lot of people that I want to go after. There's Camlo who's right by me. I suppose I should justify on someone, right? Oh, holy crap, man. The capture of the Warren. The mutant armies of Troll Warren have fallen to the Marrow Drinkers. The FEV filled caves surrounding Crater Lake becoming militarily occupied by the invading force. With the mutants within the Warren being forced to flee their homes and retreat, is there any future for mutant kind in the far north now? No. <laughs> That's really good. Okay, we've gained more technology. The Troll Warren is gone. Yeah, they were wiped out. 
that will allow me to really expand up here without having to worry too much. Interesting. Okay. Well, I need more technology to help me build things up. Like over here, I would like to get work camps again because I need to be able to build up my equipment properly. Okay, 0.44 years ahead. I don't want to research ahead right now. Instead, I'll pick up over here. Combat language. Reinforce rate up by 1%. A chance to have allies coming in to help out is always a good thing. No divisions and basic training yet. I'm trying to just expand what I do have. Okay. So tired. I've got plenty of people training. Yeah, I think they'll just train the ones who need to be trained, which is cool. But I'll know that for the future. Now we have 500 more manpower. We needed that. Let's come over here. Within the blizzard. Within the perpetual snow of the north, there's a city unlike any other. A city inhabited by ghosts. They say that if you step foot in their city, you never return. Those vengeful spirits loathe the living. Their eyes burn like orange coals of distorted desire, dragging you deep, deep into their dark heart. They make you one of them. Creepy. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I guess, like, have them merge with me. Why not? Sounds evil. I like that. Greetings, Elder. Yeah, everyone's training up right now. If you want to come on and help out, come on down. We're at 10 divisions now. Okay. I want all of you to come over here if you can. Let's keep on training. I could modify my government. Let's have a look over here. Economic advisor. Ooh, the marrow drinkers took two states. Goodbye, carcass walkers. I'll take a surveyor. Sure. More construction speed for me. It's all good stuff, man. All right. What happened? The Valley Bandits have joined the Phantasma Cartel. Then the Legion has taken the Twisted Hairs. Ugh. What can I do Poor for guys? You? All right. 12 are now ready. Oh, hold on. The NCR are now fighting the bandits, what and we still have some training to do. Oh, yeah. They'll only train where they need to. Cool. Yeah. In the past, I knew how you had to train, but now I know I no longer have to do that. That's really cool. I'm just going to let them just finish training, and then I won't ever have to do that again. Fort Maul? How much time do I need to actually get a war goal on you? 18 more political power. Tension will go up. 225 days is a very long time. Well, darn. What about up north? If I could fight another faction easily up north. Oh, it's all a very long time, so we will need time for that. Gotcha. Hello, sir. Resource production now completed. And we are moving quickly through all of our tech, and that's really good. I mean, that's going to help me out so very much. Okay, I can't pick that up yet. I'll finally get support equipment. I do want a few support companies. I mean, maybe early on it won't be a big deal with all of what I have, but later in the future it will be. All right, you can't rank up again. Well, actually, hold on. You can, but not my other leader. He's all done for now. All right, work assignments all completed. Let's go back on down. What else do I want then? Well, I've completed most of what I can get without having a penalty, but I did not get tribal huts. We'll take that. More energy cell capacity and even more benefits after that. Okay, scavenging program. I'll lose what? 50 manpower and 100 caps total. That is a lot of manpower for me, but I'll take it. What can I'll take I whatever I can. Okay, you're all ready to go. What do you need? Again, we can go after... Port Maul. I just need a little bit of time. Time for me to justify. 220 days. 44 political power. I know I'll get a national focus for it. So instead what we could do, we could go after the faction up north at Bellingham. I think that could be a really good idea. So we'll change up our plan a little bit. Yeah, I want that location for sure. Okay, so we'll change it up. I'm going to build up my front line right over here. We'll keep our other plan though. Why not? My offensive line will be fairly long, much like that. And I want my entire army to go up north. Ooh, I'll have to watch out for that area too. Ah, here we go, a new event. Let's have a look. Beneath the blizzard draped streets of Seattle lies an underground network of abandoned houses, streets, and bunkers. At its heart, a foreboding bulkhead with the words secure sites P1 painted across it lies still. This door only opens for a select few whose sigil was burnt onto their battered armor within the depths of the facility beyond. They drag travelers down into the depths of their base, using them as unwilling test subjects or as a labor force to excavate their damaged base. This is the seat of power for a new bloody brotherhood, one whose path to progress is built upon the corpses of the weak. 
Their leader, a ghoul whose skin is fused with his armor, is known only as the Immortal. From within the sanctum at the facility's heart, his orders flow throughout the ranks. His men creep through the city and abduct travelers as they scavenge, their glowing visors illuminating the gloom around them as they roam. The Washington Brotherhood traveled to Seattle to investigate Secure Site P1, a research lab and military complex designed to research the occult. It was believed at the time that radiation might be capable of unlocking some form of paranormal abilities, and the bunker was constructed to research this possibility in depth. Its surgeries are equipped like butcher's shops, and its halls are lined with nail marks. When the Brotherhood arrived, they found a facility left abandoned, falling apart at the seams, but filled with knowledge and potential. Now, as their control over Washington expands, their grasp on Alaska begins to tighten. So we gain 100 political power. We can come back over here real quick and check things out. Chief of Army, huh? Planning speed down. I don't like that. Division attack up by 10%. Planning speed up by 5%. I like that a lot. But before we do that, what else can I pick up? A field medic again could be quite handy. Here's another economic advisor. We've got down here a cultural advisor. Ooh, more political power gain. 10% more stability sounds good too. But again, all of these would decrease costs for my laws. You know what? I'll take that for now. We'll do that right now. I don't believe I need any allies. I've got one focus completed. Here is without a cause. With the state of Washington firmly underneath his control, the immortal's gaze wanders to the rebels of the cause and their traitorous leader. A grim example must be made of both Abel and any who supported his impertinent betrayal. Okay. So we'll have a war goal on them. Right over here. Ooh, Fort William Matt will be a big threat to me. I'll have to divide up my army to go fight them. Now, how long will that take? Only 60 days. Ooh, boy. Okay, well. What ships do I want, by the way? Maybe you. I don't know what would be the most efficient, but I'll take a few of you where I'm able to. Sure. My convoys are coming up. Now, about my front lines. I can only build them at two locations, really. Mm, all right. Come over here. We'll have to break on through, which we will. I want to just move on through however we can. I know we keep changing up our plans, but now we have plans all orchestrated for many foes. It's not a big deal. It just allows me to really consider what I want to do in the future. Combat language now completed. Okay. We'll take decryption. I'm not using my spies yet. I probably should be if I really want to do something. Something pretty good. We've occupied many. But they belong to me, and they're going nowhere right now. Okay. Intelligence agency. Create agency 30 days. I suppose I will. I suppose we can change the name later. What icon do I even want? You know what? That'll work. We'll take that. All right, 30 days total. I've got a lot more manpower now, over 6,000 manpower. We've completed another bit of technology. Okay, Ario has joined the Brotherhood of Steel. I don't like that. I wanted to fight them later. Okay, we'll get rapid deployment. Training time goes up, but max speed goes up by 10%. And everyone is now getting ready for a new war because we're about to go fighting. Oh yeah, it's gonna be violent and I love it. Okay, we'll make another front line over here. I'll need only one division to go over there. It'll be my conscripts, I think. Okay, come over here, done. We shouldn't need more than one. I mean, maybe we do. That's true, actually. You know what? Greetings, I want to be careful. I don't want to have that location fall. So I'll have two of my conscripts move over here instead. I've only got four army experience. I need a lot more than what I have currently. Okay, the Legion is now fighting the hang dogs. I feel bad for you, man. Okay, one building slot over here. Evil technology. That could help me out later. Here we go. We'll take the joint base Lewis McCord. That'll give me one arms workshop. 200 manpower gone. I've got the caps for it, so we'll do it right now. Done. Whatever I can do to get more factories. Okay, the Rangers are now fighting the Vipers, and we're just waiting over here to attack a major enemy. We have a lot of divisions in one area. Now, what does that supply look like? I'm really curious about that. Only 14. Ooh, not a lot. I do want to upgrade some infrastructure later if I can do that too. All right. Let's come over here and just upgrade a few things. Could probably use a bit more infrastructure. We could focus on what's adjacent to my enemies right now. Yeah, they'll give me more materials anyway. Let's do that. I probably should have been building a little bit sooner than I have been. Yeah, more supplies for me sounds pretty good. I want like five infrastructure in every location at least. 
all right might take time but we're gonna do that for now then more arms workshops too it's only 40 percent of many locations we'll build two more over here we'll build those two first then we'll work on infrastructure afterwards yeah that should do it yeah if i ever forget anything just keep in mind i'm learning i'm a little bit new but i am learning and hopefully i'm getting better Okay, that does use up a lot of my factories, unfortunately, so I don't want to do anything, not that I can just yet. Yeah, I'll need a spy one day to come help me out. All right, that is all done. Let's go look at what else we can pick up. Still too far ahead of me. No robotics right now. Well, actually, hold on. Production efficiency cap up by 3%. I'm going to take that right now. I'll do what I can. The outskirts, huh? I can give an invitation over to the mall. Personally, I just want to go kill them, but, you know, if I can do that, my focus is about to be done. Then we'll be able to move in and kill them all. I've got over here two divisions holding up. Whatever they need, really. All right, tribal huts are also completed. So we are just rolling through all of that technology. All right, what's over here now? I'm not going to get those buildings. Not yet. No, 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 not yet. I'll take that. A resistor. Actually, we'll get encryption, 50 days total. I don't want any penalties for what finite bits of time that I do have. Let's have a little zoom out and look at the world real quick. We still have many factions around us. The old country is certainly huge. Bellingham, I do want. I feel like they're going to get ready to attack me soon. So I better win down here before I go anywhere else. I think that's a good idea. All right. What so we have over here? No elections at all. We're getting more political power. We have completed that now. Let's slow down our game. I'm moving way too fast currently. So I've got two options over here. What do we have now? I could invite Port Mall or the old country. So I've got two people that I could later work on. I've got to go get the cause first, but I have time to think about it. So Port Mall or over here, we've got our buddy, our uh, buddies, the old country. Yeah, they're also fairly large. I could have you join me. That is true. Will I do that right now? No, <laughs> no. All right, let's go on back. And find out what else we need. That's 100 more political power. That can help me grab something. 60 days total. The Brotherhood's ideology is straightforward. We desire a world in which the recklessness of man cannot be enabled by the tools he wields. A world in which atrocities aren't committed for the sake of scientific progress. This is why we confiscate technology and destroy that which we cannot confiscate. All of our duties are for the good of mankind as a whole. Ooh, let's blow them away now. Before I went to war, I wanted to check on all of my land to make sure that they couldn't bypass me, but they can, which means I actually need a few more divisions out to the east. If I don't have that, I could be in a lot of trouble. So here's what I'm going to do then. I'm going to have two more of you come over here. Right over there. Then I'll have maybe two more of you also hold up right there yeah that should do it Hello, sir. two divisions three divisions here that's five total i could give you one more i suppose well get a move on i've got a war to fight and i've got more political power to use let's pick up the paladin hero paladin jackson 10 percent more stability and five percent more war support i could use that sure okay so all of you are moving who do I have here that I might want to move over to the east? I suppose most of you are looking pretty fine. There's my energy cell storage. I've got a decent amount, yeah. I'm not too bad off when it comes to my energy cells. I feel like I'll be okay. So, here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to fast forward because we need to. I've got to get over here to defend those areas. And then we'll come after the cause. Yeah, look at that. Now they are entrenched. I can finally recruit someone. Who do I who do I really want though? None of you have traits. I'll take you. Carnot Gilbert. Alright, Carnot. I think it's about time to send you out. Yeah, build an Intel network right over here. And find out what you can. Whatever advantage I can get is a good thing. Okay, we've completed work camps, giving me more resource gain efficiency. What else do I want then? Uh, here we go. Energy cell gain per energy plus 5%. I'll take that now because, again, I need energy cells for my power armor. If I don't have that, I'm in trouble. All right, so I believe we're ready now. I think it's about time to go fight the war. 
we should hopefully be okay. Declare war and done. All right. Everyone is trained up. They are pushing on me. Oh, here we go. More base war support up by a further 5%. Thank you, radio. All right, now what do I want? Anti-tank rifles. I mean, there's a lot out here that I could use. I think for now, what I want will have to probably do with my logistics right now. Yeah, that should help out. I don't want to lose supplies. I need a lot of supplies, 100 days total. So we'll take that. They are trying to push on me over in the east. I've got three divisions defending. They are winning. Good. They should be. Holy crap. I wonder how many we are going to kill. I could use more weaponry later. They're pushing really hard. And over here, it's finally time for us to push in too. What now? The Immortal has decided to construct a reclamation authority devoted to promoting scavenging in the wasteland. Cool. We'll do that later. I'll show you what that is all about if you don't know. But not right now. Right now, we're fighting a war. I'm very busy fighting that war. How many have we killed so far? That's a really good question. 92. We've lost only four. We've killed 92 people. You can really imagine that as well. All right, so we took over a little portion over here. Now it's time to keep on pushing because we have so many more to kill. I want to come over here and defeat them. Can you do that? Cool. I'm bringing another friend. I think I might stop on my plan for just a minute. Yeah, stop your plan because I just want to conquer and expand what we have. I'm not careful. That could be quite bloody and awful. I love how they're trying to push past. I've lost now 13. they had over 400 dead already. Over 400 dead people. Dang. Okay, power armor. Move up. Let's go hit them again. Nice work, everyone. We are already running right through them. They have no chance at all. It's a very narrow location, so we can easily take them all out. Good job. Okay. What do I need over here? That would be what? I've got over 120 caps currently. That would give me a lot of basic weaponry. That could be quite handy. Yeah, sure. Okay. Manual prospectors. I'll lose manpower and caps too. I'll do it because we can find really good stuff. I mean, there's a gamble, sure, but that's really part of the whole journey, right? All right, so we're waiting on our planning bonus to come back up. And they can't get through. I mean, there's no way. I suppose, I mean, they are already overwhelmed, so we'll just keep on pushing. I was going to wait, but I don't think we really need to. They're already just falling apart right now. I bet every other faction is pretty nervous. I mean, they're like, oh, crap, what are we going to do? How can we handle what's here? I've got cores on their land, so I will take over their lands. If I don't have cores, I'll probably make them a puppet of some sort. Okay, so I've completed more technology. Resistor, we need that for a further 2% to add on. I'm so happy about what's happening right now. Oh, look at that battle. They're fighting the Vipers. What else do we have over here? Who's over here? Oh, the She, right. Then we've got the Legion, who's currently fighting the Hand Dogs. I hope they have a really hard time. I really, really do. Right, we have more technology to pick up before I forget. My reinforce rate could go up. Yep, by 1%. Again, I want a higher chance to have my allies come help us out. I love all these choke points. Makes my life a little bit easier, huh? For logistics, I am still behind for my power armor. I will need a lot to help out with that. I can't fully deck out all of my power armor crews. I mean, there's just no way for me to do that for a long time yet. We're already defeating everyone. You're not a good leader. You can't do it. We're better than you. So much better than you. Oh, man. They're probably about to capitulate in just a I mean, they've lost over 500 people. I haven't lost nearly that many. They can't even push past what I have currently. I could actually go cut them off if I wanted to. I could make a big line, cut them all off, and destroy them completely. You know what? We'll do that. Except for all of you over here. Okay. Let's make sure that they haven't all joined in. 11 settlements. Okay. Or not settlements. Divisions. Oh, boy. I've got actual towns attacking under my command. And you know what? I should probably get a few more divisions over here. I'll need more supplies, but we can do that. I've got the manpower for it. You know what? We'll cut them off real quick. Let's do that. I just want to cut them off if I can. There we go. Now they're moving again. Our goal, 100 more political power. Great. Okay, let's have a look. New initiates. 100 more manpower. Cool. Over here is Flash Before Steel. Okay, division attrition goes down by 15%. Now that I want. Can't get any of these yet. Yeah, so I'll take that. 
The flesh is weak, a common phrase with a vastly different meaning to others than to us. In the Brotherhood, this phrase is said to express and accept that the human body is frail. Even with our power armor, we are still human, and unless the body inside the armor has been trained properly, it will die off long before the armor breaks. All initiates are trained to understand this. Weakness is human. And I do like that. So division attrition will go down by 15%, and I've got so much more political power. That is a huge deal. Let's have a look around here. Okay, you would help me out with my... Oh, heck yeah. Refined warfare research time up by 10%, but more importantly, army experience, which I need. I need that really bad. All right, so we'll push out on these guys and hit them from behind. Klamoth declared war on Aria. Yeah, that's right over here in case you need to know. Right over here. Oh, the Vipers are winning. I'm kidding. They're not, they're not going to win. Are you kidding me? The Rangers are good. They know what to do. They're okay. Ooh, the NCR took over the Paz bandits and the other bandits too. They didn't gain a lot of equipment, so they must have been very, very weak. All right, so we're about to cut off a lot of enemies. Oh, look at that. Seven, eight divisions total about to be cut off completely. As I'm continuing to expand right behind them, by the way. All right, I've got more political power now. What else do I even want? There's so much out there. Okay, division recovery rate, division speed. I like that. Decryption up by 5%. Reconnaissance up by 5%. We'll take that. Paladin Scout Cormac. He's our reconnaissance expert. He'll come join us. Another wise soldier. A wise sage. Ready to help us out. They can't get past what we have currently. And that now means I can just surround and destroy them all. Let's go get them. Didn't take long at all. We just completed that portion of the battle. I've cut them in half. Now come over here, buddy. All of you, come over here. I know that you need to organize. Get over here. We'll take Kingsley pretty darn soon. I just need you to come over here. You guys come over here, and we'll just try to form up a new line right behind all of them because they have all of their divisions up there. What can I do You'll come you? over here now and take over that other location. We're just going to take over all that they have. We now have automation and more technology. Okay. That would let me build bots. I have no idea if those are worthwhile. I have no idea what equipment is really worthwhile. Let's come back over here to land doctrine. We are working on that currently. We also have, let's see, specialized doctrines. We'll pick up specialized warfare. Yeah. We'll grab that. Oh, hold on. We have more technology to use again. All right, so construction speed up by 10%. We'll get clay working right away. If I can repair anything, that is a good thing. Okay, so we're pushing on them very hard right now. That is all very much intentional. We got Kingsley. Kingsley's been taken. It's over. That's all I had to do. I didn't even lose a lot. Oh, thank you for your equipment. All right, energy cells. We've gathered a few basic weaponry. A lot of bikes. Basic weapons, too. I am going to take all that you have. You belong to me now. And we've done it. Let's turn down our speed. We don't need to move quickly. Check out what we've done. Look at how much we own now. That is all that we own currently. So we've got a few choices to make for later. Flesh before still is nearly done, right? Yeah, before oh, post construction speed, right? We have over here, Sinister Patriots. I would be able to invite the old country or Port Maul. So I do have two options. I feel like Port Maul might be the easier of the two, but I would love to hear from veterans on which one I should go after. The old country at least has their capital pretty close by. The mall, well, I could definitely take it. I could definitely take it. But we now have William Met. I bet that has a lot of interesting events if I want to use my political power for it. Oh, yeah, there's a lot over here. What now? The Rangers took out the Vipers. Not bad, everyone. No, we're already doing well. It's been a lot of fun just watching our power armor rip through everyone. Okay, we still need more power armor. Over here, we need more infantry equipment for sure. Let's have a look at trade. I'm doing well on most of my supplies currently. There's Port Maul. They're pretty cool with me, surprisingly. Yeah, not that we have a malice on anything at all. I'll change up a few other things later. I don't think there's anyone that I really want to befriend. It could be the NCR, but let's have a look at the map real quick. So these two are fighting. I don't know when they'll shift. My plan is to conquer probably most of what's up north if I can. Maybe we'll even go up to the dredgers. I don't really know yet. But I could use a lot of pep. 
Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I cut myself off because I forgot about these guys over here. They look like they want to fight me. Okay, so Bellingham has probably got to go. I think we could easily take them over. How many factories do you even have? That's really what I want to know. I am trying to focus on them anyway. Three to five, so not a lot, but they do have civilian factories, a decent amount. We don't have a lot of intel. Speaking of intel, before I forget, I know that you need to come help me out. Right. Diplomatic pressure. We've got controlled trade. Counter intelligence. What about building a network? Come over here and do that for me. <laughs> we can't do a lot with it yet. Hopefully one day we can. Hopefully he'll level up. All right. So I think we'll call it for right now. We've come pretty far. We've gotten a lot done. I want to thank all of you for watching. Do not forget to leave a like and comment right down below if you want to see more tomorrow. Give me any tips or advice that you have. I really don't mind hearing tips and advice. We're about to finish four more groups of our Raider Warbands. And here are my templates right now. Conscripts would largely be for my garrisons, though I do have a few out in the field. I probably need to expand their numbers a little bit. But if I'm using them for that purpose, you can let me know if I should do that or not. And beyond all of that, let's see, we have a few spec op divisions over here. I'm going to assume they're meant to be used and they're just non-power armor groups, but I would rather focus only on my power armor groups. I do have the capability to paradrop, which is pretty cool. And here's my Raider Warband. I'll try to get up to 20 later. Okay, support divisions, power armor support. That's really neat. Logistics is over here. That would probably help out. I've got very high organization but I need more military experience. And speaking of, I'm going to give that over to my power armor. Take that right away. You probably need it. <laughs> you probably need it, buddy. But that also means I need a little bit more equipment for them. So what can we do for that? Well, we're going to need to bring this up between my power armor. Okay. I'll give you one for now. You need only 45, which is really not too bad. And that should help out. Though my manpower did just go down. We do have 35 factories total, 15 for civilians. We've got 13 for arms. And you can tell me what I need to build and what I have not already built. And again, just let me know what you think and what we should be doing. And that would be a great help for me. Ooh, here we go. The Texas Arms Association. That kills me so much. Todd Howitzer. <laughs> oh, man. Perfect. Love it. Some good stuff. All right, everyone. And if you're a patron for my channel, thank you for supporting my channel. One dollar a month goes a long way. If you think that I'm worthy of that, I thank you very much. All right. Later, folks.